Hello my beautiful butterflies. So today I'm going to be doing another thrift store doll haul, but this time I'm going to have um, just a little bit of a twist. Um, this one is going to be all vintage dolls, so 1999 and under. I think these dolls are actually all in the 90s, so we're kind of like um, doing all those dolls right now. But, um, as you can see, they're not in the best condition, but I do think that, like, after I fix up their hair and maybe retouch their makeup a little bit, they can definitely be in good condition. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, these beautiful eyes and, like, red undertones on her face and then her red lip. Oh, it's amazing and like nothing is damaged I wouldn't need to repaint anything on her face and it's honestly beautiful and then her hair is kind of a hot mess like there's this random curl right here and stuff and in the back like it's definitely a mess I, there's also these like two little things in there so yeah now all of these dolls actually came naked but I just threw some quick clothes on them um this doll let's go ahead and see what year she's actually from 1995 okay um she has rubber legs which make the popping sound Oh, and hers actually stay bent. I know a lot of the popping ones, they won't stay bent for a long time, but hers actually do stay bent, so that's good. Um, she doesn't have any, like, scrapes on her or anything. So, yeah, I mean, she's a really good doll, and it really all she needs is a good hairdo, and then, like, she could be not brand new, but close. So, for the next one, again, they all came naked, and some of them I couldn't even find clothes for. So, this one um, is just a little on the face. She's just a little dirty. Um, her neck is a little loose, but I don't really know how to fix that. I don't know if there is a fix. But um, her face, her makeup is all good. Like, I don't need to retouch anything. It just needs a little bit of a clean. And then she actually had these two pearl earrings in, and they're both still in there. Then her hair, though. Now this, this is, um, this is sad. <laughs> I don't, um, that's gonna take a work. That's gonna take some work, definitely. Um, the year, I think it's 1999. Yep, 1999. Um, her legs, again, are the popping ones, and hers actually stay bent for a little bit. She does have some stains on them, because they are rubber, so I think they get stains, like, easier. And, yeah, but that's this doll. So, now the next doll is kind of the biggest hot mess out of all of them, I think. Her face is... I don't want to say a hot mess because those eyes are, you know, big and beautiful. Hold on, it's not focusing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so her face is, um, first of all, dirty. Like, it definitely needs a clean. But then her lips definitely need a retouch on that paint. And her nose, there's like this little bulb right here. I don't know how that got there. And I don't know how I'm going to fix it, honestly. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, she does have two earring holes for earrings, um, but she doesn't have them. So, you know, I don't really know what to say. And then her hair um, was just cut. I'm glad it wasn't too short, you know, because she looks okay with this, like, shorter hair, you know. But I'm definitely going to reroute it and probably give her long hair again. Just because it's uneven and like not cut good or anything and then there's this like little bang part right here um 
so yeah but now let's go ahead and see what year she is um 1991 um, sorry my camera is like having a hard time focusing on these ones 1991 she is a um twist like right here she can twist and she does have rubber popping legs let's go ahead and see if they can stay popped or i don't know exactly what you would say so yeah they actually do stay um like popped for a while so that's good she does have a little bit of stains on her legs but a good clean maybe some nail polish remover and those will come like right out so yeah oh i didn't even notice oh no i hate you whenever this happens because there's like no way to fix it but her hand is um chewed up from probably a little kid or something well no hopefully a little kid and not an old kid but um yeah so sadly her hand is a little bit messed up so this girl um her face is just a little dirty and her lipstick and eyebrow on this side look it ends a little short and then on this side it's perfectly fine so um maybe a little retouch on some simple things but her eye makeup or like her eye thing is still okay you know her face is really really dirty though so um yeah her hair is also um really crunchy <laughs> ew <laughs> when i say that it sounds so gross but it um but yeah and it's also really tangled and stuff so I'm definitely gonna have to find some solution for that. But um, her rooting job still looks good. Like there's no empty holes or anything. So we're good on that part. Um, let's see the year. 1999. Another 1999 doll. Now um, these two 1999 dolls. Um, both had the. Well, actually no, they've all had the rubber popping legs, but I've seen a lot of 1999 dolls with these huge feet and I don't know why they would give them different size feet because like just why but her toenails are painted so I thought that was cute you know and um, anyways let's see if her legs can actually stay popped oh yeah they do stay popped okay well um oh I forgot about these earrings so she actually does have her original earrings in and um this, they're li they look like they might break in like five seconds if you bend them too much, but hopefully they don't break. Um, so anyways, now on to the last one, which this one had the most tragic hair, honestly. Um, but her face is actually really good. Like, it's not even that dirty, but her eyes are just like the first girl's eyes. They're so pretty, and um, her pink lipstick and everything. She had these little bangs right here, which I thought were the cutest things ever. I mean, look how cute she is. Um, but then you take a look at this hair right here. And then there's also like some hair in front of the crown, right where the crown's broken. So I was really sad whenever I noticed that after I bought it, that the crown right here is broken see if I can actually get it to show on here yeah broken right there um and then there's some like pink dye in her hair up here which was like really not <laughs> that was gross um her hair again was all chopped off but then they left this one braid right here for no reason um I think she was 1993 yep um, she has a lot of articulation actually. She has some at her shoulder, her elbow, um, other arms the same. She has some right here, um, knee, and the little ankle. Now I think she was actually a ballerina because these shoes look like ballerina shoes. Hold on, let me just load it up here. So, um, that's a good development. Oh yeah, and also her earrings. She kept both of her earrings in. So, um, she has some stains on her legs, but they're not rubber. So, 
um, that's a plus because rubber pants are really hard to get clothes on. So, yeah, I don't really like the rubber um, legs, but it, they don't bother me that much, you know. But um, that's all the dolls that I actually have for this vintage one. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe down below and hit the bell to get notified. I know, right? Notified every single time I post. Also, check out my description to just get some additional information about my channel. Um, also, um... Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and go check out some of the um, thrift stores. They have really, really, really um, good dolls there. Oh, well, no, no, no. I probably shouldn't say really good. They have dolls there that may need a little minor adjustments, but if you have the right tools to fix them up, it could be easy. Um, well, anyways, that's the end of this video. So, bye.